Demarcus. How are you doing this week? I'm doing pretty good. Um, gearing up to go to homecoming. Uh, oh, you're going. Watching all my clothes. I'm going. I've been said y'all was going. Right. I've been told y'all I was going. Um, so yeah, washing my clothes. I need to do my hair still. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I realized I was out of lock and jail. So had to get some of that today. So now I'm ready to go. So you do it yourself? Your hair? Huh? You do it yourself? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've been doing my own hair since I left Atlanta for real. Like there was a little time in there where I was like, and when I was living in Seattle, I was like finding folks to do it. I was, you know what I'm saying, trying to get my just trying to get in where I fit in, but I was like, I'm tired of like chasing folks down and having to travel an hour to go get my hair done. I'm just gonna learn to do it myself. Well, and then I had one person teach me like a couple of things, and after that, I had it. I was out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you know, <clears throat> the only thing I'm disappointed in. Well, I went to a little Halloween party last weekend, but it was like a family Halloween party, so it was real, real cute, real quaint. Um. I enjoyed myself. It was just like a lot of like standing around talking, drinking beer and wine and whatnot. They had they had a bunch of food out. Like and then they like they had the food like theme too. So like one they had like a little vegetable platter. They looked like a comp- a compost bin. They had this uh baked bread thing that looked like a skull. They had like a orange and black cake. Like it was like it was like a checker cake on the inside when you cut into it. It was like checkered. It was dope. So lots of questions. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, first, let's go back to the hair thing because I've seen people with dreads wash their hair and then the water afterwards. Is mm-hmm. your hair that dirty? Because I wash my hair regularly. Oh. Um, I don't know what you've seen. I don't know what you've seen, but it's disgusting. I think I think anyone who has a lot of hair. Their hair is gonna like the water when they wash their hair is gonna look dirtier. It's gonna look different than when you wash your head because you only got what a centimeter of hair. Mm-hmm. Washing, you know, washing four feet of hair looks way different. Okay. Uh, and yeah, this party you went to was this like, like I was getting Mexican party vibes. By the way, you just Mexican. It. Wow, <laughs> that's real. Because I live in San Jose? That's real... Uh, no, because honestly, I never... Prejudice? No, I never remember the actual city that you live in. Uh, I just remember one time you said that you live in Oakland. No, you were going to the party in Oakland, so I know that you live somewhere around Oakland. That's all I remember. I don't ever remember I mean, that you live in San Jose. So That's, that's not necessarily true, because, I mean, well, uh, Oakland's an hour away. But yeah, I live near Oakland. If an hour away is close to a place... Okay. Well, yeah. So forty five minutes from driving fast, and it's a good day for traffic. So yeah, I never remember, but was it a a Latino party? Nope. Well, I mean, mm, it was hosted by a a Hispanic person and his uh, Caucasian wife. Oh, so it was and when uh... I when I say and when I say Hispanic, like Spain Hispanic. Oh. Uh... Like mm. European Spanish. Okay. Co- colonial Spanish. Colonial Spanish. Original Spanish. Mm. Well, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> but yeah, no, they dope. Dope couple. They gave me some free weed before. I fuck with them. Was it good? Was what good? The weed good? Yes. It's weed, you know, it's straight. Dope smoke. But isn't there like different like well, it ain't it ain't the best weed I, I ever had. I mean, I ain't finna Right home about it, but it's 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 it's, it's a lot of bang for my buck. It was free, so it was, you know, what I'm saying it was it's good. Okay, it's good in my book. So I you got said that... roll right now. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, you said that. Um, you. Okay, you said that you had a lot of food at this party. Me, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> All I had today was fruit because I am trying to lose weight. I have fruit this morning <laughs> at eight or nine nine o'clock PM and I just ate another bowl of fruit because anyway that's why I'm hungry. Girl. You need you need you need you need to some uh, carbs bro. Carbs? Carbs is like the enemy, right? Nah. Nah, because without carbs you don't have any energy. 
I'm not doing nothing but going to sleep. All right. And whatever you say. Whatever you say. Look, I don't do like all I do is I lay down in bed for work. <laughs> like I really be laid down on oh, my you bed work at home. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I don't do that. I I still go to the gym. So I guess I need cards for that, but yeah, you definitely need carbs if you're going to the gym. And you need like a big like you need carbs before you go to the gym, carbs and protein. And then when you leave the gym, you need carbs and protein so your body can like recover and put itself back together. <laughs> so that's why I still feel sore. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have like what does your body have to heal with? Nothing. Fruit. It's trying to heal with grapes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really is though. Yeah. No, um, no, 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 no. I, well, last week I um got a smoothie. So mm-hmm. I had a smoothie. Um, but I'm still sore. Was there, was there protein in the smoothie? No, there was weight loss. Bro. <laughs> the point is, you need some protein and some carbs. Mm, well, yeah. But how are you doing? How's your week been? My week's been, you know, uneventful. Um, still waiting like i just feel that the ball is going to drop because you know my car was stolen last week Mm -hmm. so i feel like any minute now um they're gonna find out something or something's gonna happen and wait wait, so they still haven't recovered your car i haven't heard anything wow so well yeah i mean that means they haven't recovered it yet they haven't found any clues yeah yeah, no clues, I guess. Um, but um, I feel like the the insurance gonna take away this rental car, and I I just feel like when is the insurance gonna take away your rental, and why so, are they taking away? So they the people at the car dealership said that my rental car was um they're taking it back on October the twenty sixth. Mm-hmm. So October the twenty sixth. I got to get my rental car back. And I don't know. After I get my rental car back, it's like no more gym. No more going out to eat. No more nothing. No more grocery shopping. No more fruit. (laughs) So it's like a whole bunch of things in my life just like cease to be. And I don't know. Is it going to be that drastic now? Yes. Like you can still Uber. Like you can still, what's that? Instacart stuff to your crib. I am not paying an extra $20 for some Most grocery stores have some sort of delivery option. I mean, and the money you're saving on gas can go toward these delivery fees. I guess, but I don't know. It just seems drastic. Okay. They they haven't heard anything about your car, but they're about to take your rental away in like three days. Yeah, well, what? well, the the insurance people said that they had to update me, tell me the next step. So, mm. I'm still dealing with my car shit too. I got a I got an estimate for how much it's gonna cost to fix, and I emailed okay. the lady back. Was like, all right, do I need to pay somebody? Like, what are what do what, what are my action items? And she emailed me back, and I tried to call her today, but she she stopped working at like three thirty. I'm like three thirty. I'm like, girl, what? Is she on like the East Coast or? Uh, no, she's that's Pacific time. So like okay. seven a.m. I think you said like seven a.m. to three thirty p.m. Pacific time, and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. But okay. Yeah. But I guess you need to be up before, like, if somebody's trying to take care of some shit before work. I guess. Yeah, it's not yeah, really high have... roll. Progressive don't have like a twenty four hour hotline. I mean, they probably they. They do probably have like a little hotline I could call, but are the is that person I'm is that person I'm about to call on this hotline gonna know about my my uh my claim? Yeah, and I hate that you gotta explain yourself all over again. No, yeah, but they should probably, like like you they should um uh, be able to look up the yeah, notes or they, whatever. But see, I used to work in a little call center like that, and it's like if you take a call, you take you know you write some notes or whatever about the call. When it comes, you know, the person called back and they get me and not you. Like, I'm gonna read your notes, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm still be like, shit, I don't know what none of this shit means. I can only tell you what he told you because all I can see are the notes. So and you I'm like that? I might be able to like look at some, and, like, and if you want me to do some some extra shit, you have to explain yourself again so that I know the situation so that I can look into probably looking into the same shit he looked into where he told you whatever he told you. Like, so you're you not gonna get anything different. 
So so you work at like West or that telemarketing scam center? Nah, I worked at uh Carmax Auto Finance. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, so you were trying to get money from people. When folks were trying, yep, when folks was behind on their payments, Yikes. I call you. Yikes. You want to get a call from me? I'm just playing. Nah, it wasn't that bad. And then, like when I got promoted, then over there, and then like then you didn't want to get no call from me. Because if you was getting a call from me, that means they were about to take your shit away. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Demarcus. But yeah, I'm so I'm still waiting for this news to hit and i'm not very optimistic about it mm. so whatever i mean so um, if they don't recover your car what are they gonna do i don't know i haven't heard from the claim adjuster mm. i i think they're gonna give me the amount i pay on the car minus the appreciation depreciation value or something oh, okay like okay you have a good little amount for a little down payment then get you in something else I want to go on a vacation, so <laughs> I don't know. You gonna go on a vacation instead of get another car? After you just said know. how, after you just said how you can't get your groceries, you can't go to the gym, you can't go out to eat. I don't know, Demarcus. All right, I mean, you're a grown man. Make your decisions, <laughs> Demarcus. Let's, let's, let's go to break. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Demarcus. I got to put you on to something. Um, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Put me on. Put me on. Uh, I'm not prepared for this show because <laughs> I haven't thought of anything to put you on to. Um, I, I guess that I could put you on to um, this movie that I watched just today. Mm-hmm. Um, it's called Dear David. It's mm-hmm. about, you know how a couple of years ago, or you may not know, there was this sensation of a guy who... Um, was going through a haunting at his house in his apartment mm-hmm. building, and he actually lied. No, I didn't hear about it. that. I know you hit. I know you did. And, and he, well, it was actually what though. And the guy lie blogged it on Twitter. Oh, okay. Um, and the guy worked for BuzzFeed, and BuzzFeed then um turned into a movie, which was just released. Um. It's not very good. I can see how some parts might make you jump <clears throat> if you are watching horror movies through <laughs> through your uh fingers. But um mm-hmm. but yeah, it's 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 not my favorite horror movie, but it's it was a good watch. It it, it was an interesting yeah. watch. So what yeah. was it? What's it called then? Dear David. So why are you putting us on the mediocre stuff, man? What makes me scared mm-hmm. isn't what's gonna make y'all scared. <laughs> like, I like guess. what's scary for y'all would be this movie. So, if you like to be scared, then you would like this movie. I have to be scared by more upper echelon days. Like, I watch scary movies at four o'clock in the morning when I can't go to sleep. That's when I watch The Exorcist. And oh, like you the got Exorcist that. Is my comfort movie. That's all you, my brother. Yeah. Because I'm not doing that. But I'm going to put y'all on something too, man. I've been watching this uh, new anime. Okay. Uh, and it's called oh. Shangri-La Frontier. Oh, okay, okay, okay. With it's the, good. Um, it's guy. hilarious. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah. good. It's, it's good. It's funny. It's lighthearted. But it's like action-oriented. Um, there's like this romantic subplot going on, which is not really for me, but, um, you know, other folks might enjoy that, but yeah, it's, it's like, so it's about this guy who, who plays like trash games and y'all know what trash games are. These games is like got hella glitches. Like you be walking in the invisible walls. You can't get out of a corner. You can't kill the enemies because they, you know, ain't got no hitbox or something like that. But like, you know, games, you can like games, you can game the system on, um, so he plays trash games for a living. Like that's what that's his that's his main thing. But then he switches to this like high class game, like something like like God of War, Ragnarok. Like that that would be like a high class game. Like everything is perfect when you get in there. Triple A. Mm, triple A. Yeah, that's what they call them. Triple A games. Okay, triple. It's like a triple A game. Okay, bet. Um, but yeah, so he switches over to this triple A game and like. 
starts crushing it. Like he's doing so good in this game because he's so used to playing games that are like so hard to play just because the mechanics are trash. Um, that when he gets into like a regular game, he's like, oh, he's like, I don't have to worry about like my my moves glitching right before I attack. And so, yeah, but it's like he starts to discover shit in the game that no one else has uncovered and like sort of like go on this like path that like no other gamer has taken. And it's 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 not going it's not the anime that's going to change your life, but it's it's a fun watch. So I've heard about this anime. Um, I'm actually waiting a bit um, for, you know, some of these animes to get uh, queued up and, and, and have some. Yeah. Like I, I wait till like like episode six before I start, you know, watching them. Um mm-hmm. and that is on my and list. And do you watch an episode a day once the once I get to six, or do you just start binging? I start binging. <laughs> Who does that? Who no, watches so. episode mm-hmm. a day? I'm not in kindergarten. But yeah, I start binging. Um, but and I was going to do that this weekend, but Spider-Man 2 came out and I played mm. it and I beat it this weekend. So that's another thing that I did recently was beat Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 5. Really? Already? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not that quick a story. I mean, it's not that long a story. Um, mm-hmm. Most of the time, I was just doing the side quests. Um, mm. Yeah, it, it was a good story. It's worth the $60. And, um, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. You should get it. Um, uh, I- I've decided I've decided to wait on them to make uh the original Spider-Man game free again. Um so when that happens, I'll be back on the Spider-Man train. Until then, I ain't fucking with it. So so you still haven't played Miles Morales? I, I started it, but then when I realized it like picked up like after the uh first game, I was like, shit, I was like, I don't know what's going on. I want to be able to connect this whole through line on this story. So I gotta beat the first one. And I had already started playing the first one, and I st- and I didn't play it for maybe like a week or two. And when I went back to it, not in the damn PlayStation Store no more. And they charged me like fifty dollars for it. I was like, "Why are you charging me fifty dollars for this old ass game?" Like, had yeah. it been like twenty, would have just copped it. Twenty five, definitely. Thirty, I would have had to think about it, but probably would have bought would have bought it anyway. But like fifty dollars, like, what you doing? Charging new game prices for this old old ass game. I mean, the fifty dollars probably comes with the DLC, the, it's oh, the game fuck. of the year. <laughs> you are so... you knew you knew that wasn't gonna sway me, Jerry. I don't know why you brought it. But up. it's more content. Like you have to think about the people who made the game. Like they're they're you're trying right. to get paid to. You right, you right. You know, and that's and that's something I'm working on. You know, what I'm saying I'm not perfect, uh, but you know, the folks who make the game, they are trying to get paid. They already paid. Matter of fact. Because they name ain't on the game where they getting like royalties or nothing like that. They got paid to write the code. They paid. Uh, and so I guess I don't know who this money is going to at this point. So so the the developers don't get like royalties for like each. No, episode? absolutely yeah. not. All right. Well, I guess you learn something new every day. Um, in, case, uh, in case y'all are wondering, listening out there in podcast land uh our our dear dear brother Lorante is not with us today he's still alive uh we just don't know where yet so it's just gonna be d and j today on bge the d and j show has a nice ring to it we should think about doing that for we season should. two another another podcast <laughs> we just no another the podcast. same podcast why wow, the same the d and j show yeah, no, no. Because obviously black geek energy isn't working no more. <laughs> black geek energy have, is like, working. Yo. I mean, we can't have all three co-hosts, so let me um go ahead. Dante's is going through something, man. You know he's the dad. Stop doing this to, to our brother. He is sleeping. You don't know that. I I bet you he's sleeping. We can find nah. out tomorrow. We okay, can find probably. out with the text probably. tomorrow. And I doubt if Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. We will come right back to this episode of Black Geek Energy. VGEN. You deserve <laughs> to be happy. Professional licensed and vetted therapists who you can trust. 
Tap into the network of licensed, accredited, and experienced therapists who can help you with a range of issues, including depression, anxiety, relationships, trauma, grief, and much more. With our therapists, you can get the same professionalism and quality you would expect from an in-office therapist, but with the ability to communicate when and how you want. All right, head on over to betterhelp.com slash Pod. Sign up right now and let them know. All right, guys. Welcome back to a spooky episode of Black Geek Energy. On this episode, we're going to talk about something that DeMarcus doesn't want to talk about at all. What kind of episode is it, Jared? It's a spooky episode. (laughs) I didn't think think you was going to do it again. (laughs) Um, It's a spooky episode of Black Geek Energy. We're going to talk about all things horror movies. Now, DeMarcus doesn't like horror at all. Mm. Uh, he he said that he doesn't like horror movies. He has also said that he uh, watches them in the uh, uh, what's that called? Through his fingers. Uh, and and I ain't never through my fingers now. Don't, 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 don't let's get on here and start lying, Jerry. You did say that. Believe no. Sit there. If, if I decide to watch a scary movie, I, I just sit there and watch it. And and you be jumping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I be scared. I ain't ashamed to say it. What you thought I was gonna lie? No, I be scared. It was a long pause. It was a long pause. <laughs> I had a, to think about the question. I was like, what is he? Why is he asking me this? <laughs> it was a very long pause. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. And and you know, a lot of people jump. I remember one time I was in the movies with the guy. Last time I went to the movies mm-hmm. with the guy. And that was oh, in you going on dates with guys, Jerry. You always tell us you don't be going on dates with guys. One time I went to Williamsburg. This is dating it. <laughs> this is how long ago I went. I went to Williamsburg. Mm-hmm. I went to the movies with Virginia, a huh? Yes, you said Williamsburg. Oh, exactly. Oh, this is like ten years ago at this point. Exactly. So I went to the movies with this person, and we saw some movie. It was not even a scary movie. He was jumping, yelping, doing all this stuff, and I got so turned off. I was like, "What is the matter with you?" Like I was, you like, supposed to right. protect him, Jared. That was your time to step up and be his man. No, and like I was sitting there still, and be like, and be like, hey, look, you ain't got to jump like that, boo. I'll protect you. And then like no. just put your arm on his, put your hand on his thigh. Be like no. I got you. Put give him a little kiss on the cheek in the movie theater. So there was this one part where this guy got ran over by a mower, uh, a lawnmower machine. Mm. I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so just because he's not a psychopath, he getting he getting shamed over here. Is that what's it's, going it's, on? It's not. I'm, I'm not a psychopath. It wasn't a psychopathic laughter, but mm-hmm. I was laughing because it was funny to me. I mean, seeing the guy ran over by a lawnmower, lawnmower. That's funny. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think well, so. It, well, okay. it was funny when it was happening. <laughs> you say so? Maybe maybe I had to be there. Yeah, maybe you you had maybe you'll be jumping too. Hmm. Maybe. So, let me ask you a question. What is um some horror movies that is like off limits to you? Is, is off like, limits? Yeah, something like that I'm you not, won't watch. Absolutely not watching it. I mean, like all of them. Like, I mean, like, what's the last horror movie now? Cause like I'll watch, I'll go see a horror movie if it seems like it is interesting beyond being scary. You know what I'm saying? Like I went and saw Talk to Me, so I was like, I was like, okay, this. I saw like the little, the trailer for Talk to Me, and I was like, oh, this looks like an interesting concept beyond it being like a scary ass movie. And it didn't look that scary in the previews. It wasn't. That one. That I, one I, I didn't think it was but, a horror um, movie. But um, Paranormal Activity. I, don't be, I ain't trying to see those. I saw like a piece of one of them. Before and I was like, I was like, I'm not doing this because now I'm be sitting up in my room seeing shit, seeing shit dart across the floor and float, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be scared in my own house. Um, 
let's see, like monster movies, like I can do, I can mm-hmm. do those kind of movies. So like, if it's like, Flashers. Freddy, if it's like a Freddy versus Jason, okay. if it's like a screen movie, like these are like, you know, all these things are like monsters, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, so I can do a monster movie, but, um, like possession yeah, and like demons that you can't do. Shit, like, I can't, I've never really categorized it like that. It's just like, like it's, it's for me, it's like on a case by case basis. Like if I see a preview, and I'm and I'm you know and I'm my my gut will tell me it's like nah not this one. So and then some s- shit I just know it I know it to be scary because other folks talk about it and they be like oh this shit was, had me scared and I was like oh this nigga loves scary movies I'm not gonna go watch that if he was scared and he watched the shit all the time. So like if, like if you Jerry was like oh like I saw when I saw this movie and I loved it it was real scary I'm like I'm not going to see it period. So, but now, but now I'm dating a girl who likes scary movies. So I feel like I'm gonna just end up there because like now we've been doing this like scary movie marathon, not marathon, but scary movie like a scary movie a week for October. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't watch nothing that was like real scary yet, but yeah, I feel like I feel like she's trying to like indoctrinate you into me. it. I ain't having it. <laughs> so, so you saw uh. The A24 movie talked to me with her. That's that's why you saw that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I was wondering, like, I didn't think that you, I was like, oh, he's seeing scary movie by himself. But no, he went with a girl. Okay. That makes yeah. a lot more sense. Yeah. And I was jumping. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Paranormal activity, when you saw that, were you in your house? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you saw Mm-mm. the first one. I think it was at some, I think I was at somebody else's house. Okay, okay. Yeah. When I saw the first Paranormal Activity, it was when the hype was about Paranormal Activity, and like you saw mm-hmm. every week, it grew in the box office. So we was like, "Is it?" Co-? And I was at school mm-hmm. then. So like, is it coming? Is it coming to Hampton? I just need to come to Hampton. It came to Hampton. So I went to the movie theaters with, you know, me and Casey. You know Casey, right? Mm-hmm. I know Casey, yeah. That was the most scariest movie. And after that movie, I couldn't sleep with the lights off for two weeks. Casey had to sleep at my house for a week. <laughs> and Jesus. I couldn't sleep with the lights off in my apartment. See, I don't want a like movie to affect the rest of my life like that. I do. I know. Uh, like, I like it was like every like I couldn't drive by myself. I couldn't like driving at night was scary. Like all that stuff. There's not even a car scene in that movie. <laughs> like all that stuff wasn't you and your, your ass white knuckling the steering wheel by yourself. Jeez, white us. knuckling yeah, um, looking in the rear view like what's about to happen. Are there but, are there are there any scary movies for you that are like oh nah like like I watch scary movies but I don't watch this kind of stuff. Um, usually slashers, slashers. Oh, I don't really, don't do... really get into. I did watch the latest Scream, which mm-hmm. was okay. Um, but usually yeah. slashers, I don't really like because if I'm gonna watch scary movie, it needs to be like the my tier of scary movies I watch is Possession, mm-hmm. Ghost, Monster, Psychological Thriller, mm. slashers. Psychological thrillers. What's a what's a scary movie that's a psychological thriller? Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I've seen some of that movie too, and it that one didn't really scare me. It was just boring because I was like, it's a whole bunch of fucking talking. <laughs> um, let's go back to paranormal. But then too. I didn't so see the whole movie either. Oh, you didn't see all the Silence of the Lambs? Nah, I got both. So. Boys. So did you leave her house or did you just say, we got to turn this off? What are you talking about? When you saw Paranormal Activity. Mm, I, don't, I feel like I watched it with friends um, and like like this was a long time ago. We was I was probably at a friend's place and we was all watching it and I think some of us just decided to go do something else. And you walked out with them. I don't. I, I can't really remember, man. I don't know if we just like turned around and started playing cards, or if we left the room, or what. I think maybe we all just went out. I can't remember. <laughs> I just know I didn't finish the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, or actually, maybe I did because I feel like I, 
is the is like close to the end. Like last scene is just like them driving away from the the place it happened, but then they realize that the 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 thing ain't attached to the house; it's attached to the person. So they don't drive in paranormal activity because the security cameras can't pick up in cars. Okay. So, did do you know which one it was? It was probably the first one because I ain't yeah. I ain't go through that shit twice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't do it again after the first time. <laughs> yeah, so so they don't have security cameras in the cars. Now mm. I remember once um time we were all together and mm-hmm. all of us, well, all the RDO people, and I think maybe like Bobby or somebody, we all mm. watched VHS together. Oh yeah, VHS. And now, I think go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I think VHS. Mm, I, did I just not? I didn't really find it as scary. It was just like a phenomena movie. Mm, like, phenomena, okay. Phenomena, phenomena, like oh, okay. strange things. Like, phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that, yeah. But uh, it's just like it was just like different weird shit happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I do remember that one scene where that like that one girl was a succubus. Mm-hmm. And she ain't like the one dude, so she just like dropped his ass from the sky or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So like movies like that where it's like kind of has a comedy angle mm-hmm. and supernatural, you can do those. I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I mean, like at the same time, when when I was seven years old, my mom took me to go see the uh, the Bride of Chucky. I think I was seven years old. Whenever that was in theater, somebody looked that up. But my mom took me to go see that, and I left the movie theater crying. Like, and then my and then my aunt Gail rolled up, and she was my aunt, for some reason my aunt Gail was going to the movies too that day, and like so me and my mom walk out, I'm crying. My aunt Gail sees us, and she's like, "Oh, what's wrong with him? Why he crying?" <laughs> but I lasted to the end of the movie. Like I was in that movie theater shaking, like vibrating because I was so damn scared and trying to hold on. It was just me and my mama. <laughs> So you were acting like that during the Bride of Chucky at seven. At seven years old, yeah. Seven was like, when I saw the Exorcist for the first time. Like well, I was in that movie theater, like shaking like a like a stripper in church. And then when it, and then when it, for some reason when it ended, I just let it go, just started crying. I was like, look, I can't, I can't do it. I can't hold it in no more. <laughs> it was too much for you. Like, but but Chucky movies are all like comedies. Like, like yeah, you're supposed to laugh so- at. You're supposed to laugh with them. So funny enough, like Chucky is actually like one of the series that I like. Like, like I actually like Chucky as a horror series. I don't know if okay. it's because that's like the first thing I saw growing up, or like because the doll or whatever. But it was like I th- I I'm, I want to check out the the Chucky series they got on Hulu. It's good. No, it's on USA, but it's really good. USA. Okay, mm-hmm. but it's like uh, they got like three seasons. I was like, God damn! Mm-hmm. I was They're like, on the third season out. now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see the um little failed reboot reboot of Chucky where they um made Chucky like an AI doll? No. Yeah, that's on Hulu now. They made him an AI doll? Yeah. It's, it was what? like a complete reboot of the series and like they tried to make him a AI type of situation. Mm. Yeah. Are you it's, talking about is it is it called Chucky? It's called Chucky. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't see that. Did you see the did you see the the one with the doll that uh the Madeline, I think it was called? Annabelle? No, nah, no. Nah. It's like a doll and Oh, Megan. Megan. Yeah. What on what on the white girl name? Yeah, Megan. That was a <laughs> blockbuster by Bloomhouse um at the beginning of this year. And it was written by a black person. And mm. it was very good. Did you see it? Was it? I didn't see it, but I've heard a lot about it. Yeah. I might watch one of these days. Yeah, it's good. And again, it's not scary. Like, if we thought Chucky was scary, as many people that get killed in Chucky movies, <laughs> they all don't get killed in that movie. That's more like a see, family drama to me. And I see, and I think, um, like we were talking about earlier, I think Chucky is more like a monster movie, slasher movie, and that's why I can fuck with it. Cause it's not. I can I can look at it from like, oh, it's not a it's not a horror perspective. This is like a monster chasing folks down or whatever. Like, how does this monster come to be? How does it cease to be? As mm-hmm. opposed to just running around scared. 
I also like uh the Nightmare on Elm Street stuff because okay. like, because Freddy Krueger is fucking hilarious. Like, like he's just a troll by himself. I mean, he is, and he's also a demon pedophile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <he'd> be <laughs> There's that side of him. He be wilding. Yeah. But I remember watching uh, one of them. I think it might have been Freddy versus Jason, and he was like, "Got your nose," and he flipped that girl nose off. I was like, "This is ridiculous." Yeah, I couldn't. I was like, "I can't even be scared no more." You done took me all the way out of it. <laughs> yeah, Freddy versus Jason is crazy. Um, that being said, do you like the Jason movies? Mm. That's like a monster slasher, um, yeah. type of movie, but it's not as co- um, comical. Yeah. Um, not really, not really, and not because they so much scary, so much as it's like I think I get bored with the Jason movies. Okay, and the Mike, the same with the Michael Myers joints, because mm-hmm. I feel like the folks in those movies are just so dumb. Like it's <laughs> like like this man is literally fucking walking. Like why can you not get away from him? Mm-hmm. And then like it's. It's always somebody in the movie that's like that that knows whatever that knows what's going on, and they very clear. It's like, all right, if you do this, you're getting fucked up. If you do that, you're getting fucked up. And what you should do is this, and mm-hmm. they always do the opposite. And I'm like, what is what is going on? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's the difference between. Well, not between, but I think that's why we haven't had a black horror movie. Mm-hmm. That was good until Get Out. Did you see Get Out? Oh yeah, I just saw Get Out. Actually, oh you just? Well, saw no, it? I saw Get Out. I, I guess I saw Get Out a long time ago. I saw Get Out in the, in theaters. Okay. Get Out was dope. Um, I just saw Us. That's what I just okay. saw. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and what you us, think us, about? Howard. Us was creepy, but um, Get Out. Get Out was good. Get Out was a good ass movie. I did, and I didn't really see it as a horror movie. I saw mm-hmm. more like a like a like a thriller, probably one of them psychological thrillers, like you said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I wanted. I was like, I was like, man, how they gonna say my boy? You know, the, uh, when they flash the camera in his eyes, and he's like, get out. I was yeah. like, how they gonna say my boy? They gotta get all the black folks up out of here. Yeah, I I don't think that we get out. I think that's just something that we understand as mm-hmm. like as a horror movie. Like a lot of people see yeah. the people taking over their mind was a horror aspect, but the horror aspect was. This person being completely out of his element, can't get in contact with them. They're nowhere yeah. around them. Like the people who he considers his quote unquote family, you know, people who who, who he doesn't even know, people who he are comfortable with are nowhere to be found. And he's there completely alone while he's surrounded by people. So, yeah, mm, that was. Yeah, a very yeah I think. Yeah, I think I think you hit it really hit the nail on the head with that. Like, I think what well, what's scary about Get Out is being a black a black person, a black man surrounded by white people, and and then like the other black people you meet are off. Yeah, and that's yeah. and that's like a real life experience. And I feel like I've been there, where especially when I moved to Seattle and I was in grad school, I was around a lot, a lot of people who were not black. And then the few black people I would meet were, it was just like these, it's like, it, it almost feels like these people don't know they're black. Like, wow. you know, and it's, and not, and not in the sense that like no one ever told them, but just like, as if, as if they've been replaced. Mm. So let's talk about us. Um mm-hmm. What did you think about us though? Us was a little scarier than get really? out. Really? I thought us was Us was a little bit scarier. I thought us was not as scary as get out, but people were dying in it. So maybe that was the scary part for you. Mm, I think the scarier part for me with us was that like you like like everybody had their own like doppelgangers, like shadow. They called them shadows. And that this this thing was happening to the entire world and it's like premeditated and just like the whole concept of like whatever happens to the your the person who you know whatever happens to your person happens to you as a shadow without all of the support that the person has. 
Mm, yeah. And so I I think where my mind went with that is just like what is happening, like um because like the shadow when the shadow described like some of the pivotal moments in the like between their lives, she was like, Oh, you know, you was in the hospital surrounded by family and your son was born. You know, I had to rip my mind out of my own stuff. Mm. So my my mind went to like what like in some of these other cases, what is happening to the shadow? Like it's the girl's is you know, the girl in the light, is the light, you know, her first time, you know, having sex, is the shadow just like being raped? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, a, a little girl kind of like, you know, she she stubs her toe. Does like the shadow like had to get a hammer to her foot? And I really, and I started to really feel bad for the shadow. So, so you approve <laughs> nah, this nah, doppelganger that, takeover? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think, I think all of those, this is going to sound horrible, but I think all, all the shadows should have been put down when they sh- closed that program. Wow. Because they were, they weren't never meant to be anyway. They were created. Mm-hmm. And so when you're done, you should have been like, all right, let me systematically, let me shut down these computers. Yeah, instead of keeping them there in the underground, unsupervised Mm -hmm. science. Just going insane. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but sentient beings have a right to live and yes, yes, thrive. Yes. Did you see Jordan Peele's last a uh, horror movie. His das alien flick. Uh, nope. But, uh, nope. I saw like half of it on a plane, and I think we landed like right when it was getting good, or I fell asleep or something. But I didn't see all of it. Hmm. And I've been meaning to watch the rest of it, but it was real. It was a real slow one. Like from what I saw, like I never got to the part where like the spaceship showed up or anything. Mm. But it, it was real slow. Yeah, yeah. Nope was slow. Um. Yeah, note was really slow, and the good part wasn't like the last fifteen minutes. I I thought there was my ranking of his movies are Get Out, Note, and um, then No That's... Get Out Us and Note. I think okay. that's worst one. Have you um, seen any of the series? Uh, them. Yeah, I saw all of it. Mm. I saw. I've seen some of that, and it's uh, it was on, it wasn't super scary. But then I like every time I watched that, I started falling asleep because we would always watch it real late. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, are there any other uh, scary TV shows that you may have saw, seen? Scary TV shows. Scary TV shows. Um, this wasn't a, a TV show necessarily, but um, Puka. That was on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah, I, I watched that. Um, which I thought I was like, this is just weird. Um. Are there any? Uh, yeah, I can't because like I usually avoid scary stuff, so mm. not really. There's not a whole lot of scary move, scary TV shows that I've seen. I watched that American Horror Story that I was telling y'all about the uh, Roanoke. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst one for you to watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, and, I was, well, and when I say watch, like, like I watched one episode and I was scared, and then I watched. Like for every episode after that, I was like closing my eyes. I was doing other shit. I was like, get up and walk around, start cooking, start cleaning. It's like I'm being productive now. Like I'm finna change my whole life around. As long as you got this shit on, I'm not finna sit here and watch this. That's and then you want to watch crazy. it right at bedtime and go straight to sleep after this? Get out of my face. That's not how happening. you go to sleep. Not happening. So I just want to ask you one more question. It's not really a scary show. But have you seen Black Mirror at all? Yeah, I've seen. I've, I watch a lot of Black Mirror. Hmm. And what do you think? I, I like I like Black Mirror, and I like the and I like that it presents. I like the way that it presents technology in the ways that it could go wrong, hmm. and I like that. Um, that it goes so far. You know. And that, and what I mean by it goes so far is that it's, it it doesn't necessarily have to stick to reality. It's not like technology that we have today, and it doesn't even have to necessarily resemble any technology that we have today. 
Um, but at the same time, it's like reminiscent of it. Cause uh we have there's like the one like the one episode where like I think the woman the woman's like a uh, husband or boyfriend dies, but she like has a bunch of his recordings. So they make like an AI voice that she's just like texting at first, and then she's like, and oh, it's like I remember oh, that one. You can upgrade to like talking to him and hear his voice. And so she does that. And then it was like, Well, you can take this final upgrade where you can like we can make a clone of this man. So I like I like that kind of stuff because it starts it, it usually starts from a place where like okay this is realistic I could believe this and then it just like goes as far as it can and I love it. So I think the the best Black Mirror episode this was like two weeks before the strike happened mm-hmm. they did a Black Mirror episode on this latest season that was actually about AI coming for people's jobs and they had all these celebrities um, in the show well. <laughs> If you haven't seen, I'm telling the whole story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen well, the latest season, but tell well, me, tell me, you still watch it? Okay, so they've been out for a year, these, right? Yeah, well, yeah. it hasn't been a year yet. It hasn't okay, been a year but yet. close. It's been out for long enough to, to where I should have seen it. It's my that's my that's on me at this point. Yeah, they had all these celebrities in this TV show, this one TV show, and they mm-hmm. were like, I didn't even know they were filming this show of me, and then somebody's getting this money. I'm not getting this money. And then two weeks after this show aired was the the SAG strike. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa, Black Mirror telling the future like the Simpsons. Yo, this is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Um. So you said them. You saw them. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking from. Them was on Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I liked it. Well, a lot of people didn't like them. A Why lot not? of people. I don't know. Okay, they said it's like uh slave porn, like people mm. like people being oppressed. Yeah, I mean hmm. I liked it. I mean, I loved it. <laughs> mm. And you didn't think it was scary? I mean, I can't even remember it. I remember I remember watching it, but it's like watching it through like a haze of sleep. Because mm. like my eyes are open, they close, and I'm like, I'm I, I can't even pay attention to this movie. Um so, go ahead. So, I remember when I was little, and I started watching Horace of Very Young. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, there was a Goosebumps show that mm-hmm. was scary, but that played in the day. Mm-hmm. Are You Afraid of the Dark? I remember played that at joint. 9 o'clock. <laughs> 9 p.m. My mama always said, don't watch that show because you get too scared. So, mm-hmm. I would always... Did like, you get too scared? I did. <laughs> but I'm like five six or whatever so i would yes. always after she said that a couple of times i would always like uh um uh challenge myself to watch this show and not run to my mama afterwards and sleep in my own bed so and i did for a while but the one show that scared me and i can't and i still think about this show to this day 30 years later it was this show about T, T and Tamara were in it. Mm, they were in an Are You Afraid of the Dark episode? Yeah, they're in Are You Afraid of the Dark. Mm. And their episode was, if you look in the mirror long enough, it will come out and get you. <laughs> and that episode freaked me out. Like, I can't look in the mirror long now. Like, I'll be brushing my teeth. I'll be walking around the house. Like, I, I can't stand there and look in the mirror. Like, if I'm, like, putting on face stuff, like, I don't even look in the mirror for that. Like, I, I don't look in the mirror for long periods of time if I'm home by myself. So, yeah. Like, if I'm out with y'all or out doing stuff, I'll look in the mirror. I'll be happy or whatever. But, yeah. Home, all these mirrors right here. <laughs> I do a quick glance, see what my outfit look like on me. Then I'm out because I do not look in the mirror for long. Like, so I think I'm going to move in there. I'm not going to do like my reflection is going to reflect me. And that episode creeps me out for life. So, yeah. yeah. So, so you scared, but you not, but you wasn't scared when, now I guess that wasn't a mirror then in, um, in us when the, the shadow started choking the girl, like she thought it was a mirror, but no. Nah. Mm-mm. Like, Let me ask you this, Jared. Okay. Have you what are some notable horror anime that you've seen? Is there any good horror anime? Yes, there is. 
and um let me just pull it up right quick mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um because there's actually this one um director and he makes horror anime all the time and he mm. actually made well his latest um anthology is mm -hmm. on uh netflix now um it, it's, is it a is it a movie or what no it's an anthology of uh horror it's called um junji ito maniac and it's japanese tale of the macabre it I is have, oh yeah okay i i know who Ju, Ju, junji ito is i've heard the name Yes, and I see pictures of him. He's like a really happy dude, and mm -hmm. like, he, like he has like a lot of like really cute like and stuffed animals or like little things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like everything he draws is like crazy. Yes, yes, and I've seen it all. I've I've actually like hunted down his work, um, and he does a lot of horror stuff. He does a lot of horror stuff. Um, one of his shows is actually supposed to come to uh um cartoon network it's called spiral it was supposed to be coming to cartoon network for the past five or seven years and i don't know what's going on with this show but it 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 it, it hasn't been on cartoon network yet and they just 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 released a trailer for this show um but yeah his anime is very creepy it deals with a lot of Japanese myths and mm -hmm. uh, Japanese stuff. The artwork is insane. <laughs> like the artwork is really, really creepy and otherworldly. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really, really, really good anime to watch. Okay, the Japanese tales of the macabre. Mm -hmm. Cause I saw I I have that on my Netflix list, and I just haven't started watching it yet. Is it is it like real scary or is it just like real good? Um, again, I don't get scared easy. Mm. Um, so I did not think it was scary. It was really good. It was very good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was extremely, extremely, extremely good. What else have I seen? Of course. Um, I mean, you put vampires and stuff. So technically, um, Castlevania and Tresse is um horror stuff i am watching tokyo ghoul um that is horror adjacent mm -hmm. paranoia agent that's where... what i was gonna say huh i was gonna say paranoia agent oh yeah paranoia paranoia agent um elfin lead is really mm. good it's a 2004 anime that's like the original, ain't it? Uh, the original horror anime. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, it's 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 the earliest that I've seen, uh, definitely. But yeah, there are some really, really, really good horror anime out there. Okay. Um, don't really know if any have made me scared, but yeah, there are some good anime. Okay, okay. Cause I I wanna I wanna. Like I told you, me and my girl doing a, a scary movie a week for October. I want to put her on to like a scary anime movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, anime movie. Yeah. Because like, I ain't, I ain't really like, sometimes I want something I can just like sit down, get into, and once it's over, it's done. I ain't got to like come back next week and keep on watching the episodes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um. Well, if you want to do an anime movie, there may be, um, well, I mean, there's always Death Note. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um on on Netflix. Death Note ain't really horror though. Death, Death Note isn't scary. Death Gosh. Note's not scary, but it's horror because there's a demon involved and the main person is killing people. So I technically guess. it's horror. Um Acura may be um That's not horror either. It's not horror. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen Acura. Yeah, of course you have. You're on this podcast, but <laughs> technically, yeah, I haven't seen one of the classics. <laughs> technically, it's horror because you know people. You know they're killing people. There's blood in it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there aren't any good 
horror movies that I'm seeing. Yeah. No, I don't really know of any. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm looking at uh, Junji Ito's movie. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, some of these are movies. Mm. Uh, yeah, I might give Uzumaki a try. Yeah, yeah, Uzumaki was good. Um, yeah, yeah, all his movies are really, really cute. Really, really cute. And like, maybe y'all can just watch a episode to get in the mood. <laughs> I mean, but but they're really creepy. They're really creepy, and it's an anthology, so so you have like new stuff every time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's good for this episode. We didn't talk about anything I wanted to, but we had a really good conversation. <laughs> what's, what's some of the stuff you want to talk about then? We can, oh, shoot. I feel like we got a little bit more time. I mean, you know, I wanted to mention the Conjuring franchise and mm. uh, the Exorcist franchise. You know, I just saw the maybe, Exorcist. Oh, so maybe ahead. it is, but like, I was going to say, uh, I said I wouldn't see that and then I um, I wouldn't see like the Exorcist stuff either. Um, I've seen, I saw Annabelle, but I don't want to see any more Annabelle. So maybe <laughs> it is like the, uh, maybe it is like the possession and like the spiritual and like the demon stuff that I don't fuck with. Cause like, like the Freddy versus Jason stuff is like I'm not gonna jump to see it, but if like everybody want to watch it, I guess I'll go. But but when it comes to possession, yeah, cause ain't really, cause I think like with it, I think it, I think what 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 does it for me is like if it's something I can run away from or something that I can like combat in the physical world, sure. But like if I'm possessed, that's it. Like I'm possessed. Yeah. Like you got to get a priest to to unpossess me, and then it's only it's a crapshoot whether that priest gonna be able to do it or not. True, true. You still may die. Um, yeah. So those are my favorite horror movies. Recently, I have really gotten into the true life horror dramedies like Unsolved Mysteries. Mm. I'm like, uh, I watched this show called. Uh, True Tales of Possession, and then this new movie just came out on Netflix about the person who the third Contra movie is about, um, who killed somebody, said it was the modern possession, and tried to use that in the court case. So I just hmm. saw that live action documentary where they interviewed all the people involved in that, um, in that case. Did, did, and, did he lose the case? Oh yeah. Okay. The judge said, "This ain't uh seventeen seventy six. You can't do that. <laughs> no, you got to use science here." <laughs> oh, okay. But they had like a but it, so did they have like a full like they have like evidence and like shit to like present to the court. They had evidence. The judge saw the evidence, but their their evidence and this is in the seventies, so their evidence was like audio recordings. They didn't have any videos. Um mm. and the judge did not admit the video, so yeah. Mm. Um, no, the the audio recordings, but I just watched that movie or that documentary on Netflix, and those are creeping me out more because it's quote unquote true stories, true tales. So those things are creeping me out more now. So yeah, yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep watching that stuff. But yeah, cool, cool. All right. Did, um, did you no. Let me. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna. Say, I was gonna say you wanted to go to break now. Yes, you... yes, we can. Just let me ask you one more question. Did you watch um Goosebumps or Are You Afraid of the Dark as a little child? Um, wait, as a child or as a child? As a child I watched both of them. As a child, I watched both of them. I didn't watch them often, but like I, I watched them here and there. And did you read the Goosebumps books? Yeah, the Goosebumps books, like, for some reason, I can't be scared of a book. You can't scare me with words on a page. Because yeah. I can just stop reading. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not, you're not gonna, like, ooh, duh. Like, no, I'm <laughs> I'm not scared, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, well, that was a really good and discussion. What I like about the Goosebumps book is it lets you choose your own adventure. So you could like jump around and do stuff. And I could choose the safe path. And then the book ends on page like 10. <laughs> <laughs> the happy path. Of like, ah, good book. Ah, good book. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I think that was good for this discussion. Very good discussion. Um, but let's go ahead, take a quick, quick break, and we will be mm -hmm. right back with everybody's favorite part, the questions. We'll be right back. question you can you can send in your questions to blackgeekenergy at gmail.com you can uh dm us your questions to at black geek energy on instagram and tiktok you can send it also to bge underscore pod we got to talk about if you want to pay for twitter because that's a whole nother thing um or you can just tell us if you're our friend so let me ask this question what is a character or group who's the question from oh sorry let me read <laughs> read who it is this question is from Anna Lee from um, Mississippi Anna Lee all right what's happening Anna Lee from the sip <laughs> so uh is there was no factor what character or group should get a movie, but it's unlikely to be given um, a movie because they may not be well-known. Money is not a factor in this discussion. So what character or group should get a movie? Yeah, and you can use like um, comics or TV, just any fictional character. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And also, this would be like different forms of media, like comic, video game, um, solo movie, solo TV show, whatever. Okay. Oh, a movie I would like to see. This is the one that popped into my head. I don't know if this is like the top one that should. Well, it's the top of mind for me right now. We'll say it that way. Um, I would love to see a Jet Set Radio Future movie. Mm. I think, I don't think. Like the game was amazing. I love playing the game back in the day, but I don't. I don't think that anyone who did that movie would do it justice. I think it'll be like one of those like weird campy movies, um, and I don't think they'll spend like a big budget on it either. Uh, but I think it'll be it'll be a dope movie to watch. Like I would I would I would love to see those characters, you know, in, on the on the big screen. So I have never played this game. Well, I don't think I have. It's it's a game where you like are rollerblading or skateboarding and you are spray Roller painting skating. the the yep. the okay so I have played this game minorly um yeah I mean it would be cool I don't really get how the plot would be <laughs> exactly exactly that's why I say it wouldn't be like a good movie because like mm -hmm. the games the game's plot was one thing um but I don't really see how they would translate that into a movie because I think the plot of the game was like you're this like you're you're the newcomer in this uh in this uh roller skating rollerblading rocket skating street game cuz everybody got like rockets on the back of their skates so that they, they can use to like jump across the city um but you're the newcomer in this game and like y'all are just like doing gang shit you know taking over territory and whatnot making sure can't, don't nobody take nothing from your territory and then eventually you learn that like the government is trying to like 
take over people's minds mm. and change them into like just like stooges or whatever into like their own personal army. And so you got to stop them. Which I think you know now that I, now that I, now that I lay it out there, it sounds like it could be a good movie, but it would it would be. I think it would be like Tank Girl, if you remember mm. that movie. It would be done like that. Yeah, well, especially if money was no object, then mm-hmm. I could see people liking that. Not me mm-hmm. though. I, it, would I would be watch dope. It. it would be dope if it was done like Gangs of New York. I mean, I mean, money's no object. Yeah, but have you seen Gangs of New York? No. Jesus. <laughs> um, Is that like a mod movie? A mob mafia? I mean, kind of a mob movie. I mean, but like, it's like the different Gangs of New York all vying for power, and like one of them, like it's it starts with all these different gangs vying for power. Like one guy gets like gets betrayed, and then his son like grows up and tries to like start taking power back. It's it's dope. It's a good. It's a really good movie. It's long, but it's really good. All right, maybe I watch it in December. <laughs> um, for me, of course, I would love to see a storm solo movie, Ooh. but I don't want it to be an origin story. So I just want her to be at a height of her powers. I think that a good origin story will be Magneto, Eric Lynchier, his journey to Auschwitz, and it would show why he became this eco terrorist for good. Mm-hmm. So I I, I, yeah, I think that for good caveat, didn't you? Yeah, for good. Mm-hmm. So I think that. Eric's solo movie will be good. And I and I actually think it will work better as a TV show. It mm-hmm. will work better as a TV show. First, first four, three episodes, he's in all switch as a child. Then yeah. the next three, he is in um uh with his daughters. And the last three, he is uh fighting the X-Men and destroying the Sentinel Factory. So yeah. I I think that the Eric Lynchier should be a definite TV show. I like that idea. I would I would watch that, but I would it would have to be like when they're showing his past, it would have to give me like a flashback because I I'm not just gonna watch three uh, um, and I imagine it's like full hour episodes, right? Forty five minute hour episodes. Yeah, forty five minutes to an hour. Yeah, I'm not watching three episodes of uh you know I'm not watching three hours of the Holocaust over three weeks. Oh wow! So um, you didn't like Schindler's List? I never saw Schindler's List. Oh wow! We had to watch that in school. Mm. Mm. Tough school. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think because you said because you you're, you you mentioned like showing his past in order to like inform how he became like eco terrorist he is. I'm like mm-hmm. I want to be see him like in the present or the future or whatever doing the eco terrorist shit and then like. Some shit he sees some shit and it like triggers a memory and then we go back to that memory. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it shows like how that memory that how that particular chain of events influences the the places the moments that he's living in. No, I don't like that. Or it's... show him getting therapy, like and he's just talking about his whole life. I don't like flashback. I I, I really don't like flashback shows because I I feel like I've seen them all lost on them is lost um, a flashback show lost has tons of flashbacks uh, the series is based on flashbacks Oz, I, never, I didn't i didn't really watch lost like that yeah Oz, like all of these shows I, i've seen flashback shows so and i've seen that premise like it needs to be a new premise something along the lines of uh the last of us and then it was so well made and i took the source material and really made it its own for hbo is the no. last of us horror? I mean, it's zombies. Mm, so kind of, I guess, huh? Yeah, zombies is post-apocalyptic. We didn't. We did this whole horror episode and didn't mention Resident Evil or Silent Hill. <laughs> did Did I you play those? Or? I played. I played Resident Evil. Me and my ex, we had downloaded a Resident Evil game that was like co-op, and we tried and we started playing it together, and then she was too scared to keep playing it. Nice. Like we didn't, we got past the intro, and she was like, "All right, we gotta stop." I, like this is scary. <laughs> Instant breakup. Get out my house. 
Wow. So so they say that Resident Evil 2, the remake, is really, really good. It may be game of the year contender for this year. But okay. yeah, to answer your question, Annalie, uh, I would say a Eric Lynchier um uh series for HBO, Amazon Prime, or one of those streaming services. Yeah. Um, all right. This one is coming from Corinne in Washington. And her question is, what anime would you like to see made into a horror movie, um, live action or otherwise? I added that last part. She just asked anime into horror movie. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a live action horror movie. It could be an anime horror movie. Mm. What anime should be made into a horror movie? <laughs> <laughs> what you want to see? Yeah. You know what anime should be made into a horror movie? I don't know. But- um, dang it. I actually have two. Okay. My first one is Sailor Moon. Because how, how would that translate into a horror? Break that one down for me. It it it, it would be hard. It would be difficult. Um, something about this cat coming to this girl, giving these girl these powers, and then of course it would have to be rated R so that when the monsters come from this lady who is like could be like possessing or it could have like a ghost element to it mm-hmm. um uh they are you know literally like killing them like it, like it would have to be a rated r movie like yeah like i i think that it could be done like all this stuff is coming from the moon and then this one person has the power to stop it. And it probably wouldn't be as flashy as Sailor Moon. Like, like her stuff could be more subtle uh, to get people um, mm-hmm. uh, healed. And then the healing could start at the end of the movie. But mm-hmm. but I really think that Sailor Moon um, uh, could, could be a horror movie. But I don't know. <laughs> what's, the, what's the other one? Um, I'm trying to think um uh, i don't know because it's like say the moon it's it's uh uh pretty girls that transform into stuff and and is like it madoka make, magica? huh is it madoka magica madoka magica it's already like a horror movie it's already a horror anime <laughs> yeah it's already a horror anime uh these girls wish for something which you know wishes always turn in the end <laughs> they always turn sour um and and then in the end uh they themselves turn into these unstoppable forces um who wreak half on, on on the town and then yeah. you know that uh, would be a dope ass live action horror movie actually yeah yeah it would be it would be a really dope live action horror movie and I I would definitely watch that, but yeah. both of mine have to do with pretty sailor girls. <laughs> I want and I would want I would want the like usually in these kind of shows, like you don't really see much of the parents. I want to I would want to see the parents in this horror movie like come face to face with this monster that their mm-hmm. daughter is fighting, and then gotta like deal, gotta like wrestle with letting your daughter go out there and fight this thing because she got she the one with the power. Mm-hmm. So not the whole movie from the parents' perspective, but I would want that to be folded into the movie somehow. You know, taking it back to The Exodus Believer, because that movie was really about the parents in Which that one? situation. The Exorcist Believer, and I guess oh. Exorcist too. But The Exorcist Believer was really more of a movie from the parents' perspective and mm-hmm. how they were dealing with their child becoming something else that they couldn't control that they were getting all these specialists to go help them and all these um advice and all these uh Mm -hmm. um seekers and then their nosy neighbor told them okay now try the spiritualist so then Mm -hmm. yeah but that i really did like that in a horror movie like seeing the parents deal with that situation that they had absolutely positively no control over so yeah yeah yeah, that would be a really great spin on things yeah um so my first one is like i don't think it should be like the the main story from this anime i think it should be a spinoff 
Um, but uh, My Hero Academia, there should be a spinoff that's made into a horror movie. And maybe it's like it's like an animated horror movie. But like from the perspective of like the 20 percent of people who don't have powers I thought it was now 10. have to like, huh? I thought it was 10. I think it's 20 percent. I think 80 percent of people have powers, but the 20 percent of people who don't have powers, like find maybe find like a family or like a few people and like their life and them going through life uh with among these superpower people and like i want there to be a particular villain that's like oh you know like superpower people are the way are the are the you know the next wave of human evolution and all of these non-power people are holding up holding us back and i'm here to kill them and so mm-hmm. like he's like sneaking around and like these depowered people never know when he's coming and like the superpower community just doesn't believe this person exists. Hmm. You know, what would also be interesting to see that could be a good scary movie is watching it from the beginning. Um, mm. Seeing how it happened at the beginning. Cause that is actually a post-apocalyptic event that happened. And yeah. if everybody starts changing stuff for a few people and yeah. then watching how the the people actually um start treating the normal people the 20 percent mm-hmm. um and and before, before all the superhero laws and stuff and all the heroes yeah. jumping in when people are just like going crazy so yeah. you don't know who's a villain yeah yeah i think that could be a i think that could be real compelling mm-hmm. um my other one was uh, a little easier a little easier uh jump but like Jujutsu Kaisen I think that would be like an easy jump into a horror movie yeah yeah like yeah. cursed spirits like cursed people and stuff like that yeah I mean I don't see how they can make it more scary than it is because it's kind of like scary for laughs and fight scenes you, you know nah, Jujutsu Kaisen is not scary at all but yeah, they, it's I not like scary they at all it, they could make it scarier by like not explaining how these powers work. Um, you know, I think add a little bit more suspense instead of like all these cursed spirits just like jumping your face and like they trying to box. It's like it's like nah, they stalk you for a little bit. Yeah, I would like to see more of how Sakuna is while he's inside of uh Itadori. Mm-hmm. And like what that dynamic is, um, as he gets more fingers inside mm, of him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Final question. This is from Roger. Roger is from Milwaukee. Hello, Roger. This question is: If you, well, you could said be- hello, Roger. Did he send the pic with his question? I see his pick uh on the Gmail. So oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um yeah, so uh he asked if you could pick your cast for a critical role, and he asked in parentheses just five people and one DM, who okay, would it be? Total. So is this like am I picking Am I picking people that have been on Critical Role to be on the show when I'm on the show, or can I just pick anybody in the world? No, he means anybody in the world. Okay. If I could pick some folks to be on Critical Role. Um, I want Matt Mercer to be the DM, because that's his show, and I feel like he does a great job. Yeah. I would want one of the people on the show... Maybe I want family critical role. Like, cause I think I just because like I think I'm the only person, me and Squeaky, my little brother, we're the only people who are have like this this geeky trait going on. Like this whole like into board games and like gaming, comics, anime. Like we're the we're the two people, we're the only two people like that in our, in, in my family, as far as I know. I mean, other people are like into anime or into um, you know, some folks dip their toe in the anime. I'll just put it that way. 
But I would want to, I would want Matt Mercer to DM. Maybe me. Yeah, Matt Mercer to DM. Me, my little brother, uh, Squeaky, my dad, my mom, and then probably my dad's sister, my auntie Angie. Uh, I want I want all of us to be on Critical Role together. Because it's, it's gonna, not this is going to be like a fun game. It's going to be hilarious and frustrating. Yeah. Especially with my dad. Because my dad going to be like, like, what the fuck are we even doing, man? This won't make no sense. <laughs> Especially if he's like a magic user. <laughs> he wouldn't. He wouldn't. Like, he would. I feel like he would pick, like, Barbarian. Like, wow. Then not, I mean, like, raging is still hard. Not like not like one of the fancy barbarians, like like the original barbarian. Like all you did was rage, mm. rage and attack. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was a good choice to do, Matt Mercer, um, as the DM. Yeah, but I also think I think like the first, I think like the first session, first two sessions, he'll be hella mad. That third session, I think he'll start to get the hang of, and he'll start to get into it. Matt, no, 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 my dad. Uh, <laughs> yeah but i think that was a really good um idea so i would steal that matt mercer as a dm mm -hmm. um i would want sam regal to be on the show oh he's always great yeah because he's just amazing me you because i feel like we can bounce off of each other really well <laughs> Um, who else? I got two more choices. I'm gonna pick uh, who is the voice of Riley from Boondocks? Oh, uh, oh, Regina King, Regina, yeah, Regina King, and uh, um, Beyonce's too busy and she's probably not gonna do it. So I'm sure, I'm sure that's not a factor in this question. I'm sure that's not a <laughs> that's not a limitation in this question. Yeah, but I'm gonna pick somebody that has actual geek stuff in their background. So I'm gonna pick Mech the Stallion as my mm. final, final person. I appreciate you trying to set me up, brother. Put just all I need is just to put me in the room. I can handle it from there. Do not be like that. That's how that person got fired the first season. So. Woo. Don't be like that. You don't remember? Who got fired the first season? He oh, was... oh, oh boy. I remember he, he played the, the dragonborn wizard. Sorcerer. Tiberius. Yes. That was his character's name. I don't remember his name for real. Yes, so... But he got fired. He got fired for being for like scheming on the uh on his code. He's workers? he was he said some stuff live on air. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like I remember he was like problematic on air, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like I remember. Like I remember an article I read cited him talk about like the old, like he killed the old lady on on air, and then he that was so funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I was like, this is hilarious. This is exactly what Critical Hole is supposed to be. But they were like, nah, this is not that wasn't good. Like, that wasn't playing. He wasn't supposed to do that. Also, Ashley um, is suing the person who hosted Foresighted Die. Mm -hmm. um, for sexual harassment, so don't be mm. like that. Four-sided dive. I don't remember who that is. Yeah, he he's like dive. a little co-host star. But yeah, so don't be a creep because I can always pick somebody else. I mean, I ain't gonna be. A, I ain't say I was gonna be a creep. I'm just gonna shoot my shot. You feel me? I mean, two people did get married from that show, so dating. She making a style and dating. I think she dating like a soccer player right now. I think I can. I can do that. Yeah, and he makes millions just for standing there. So she got her own millions. That ain't what he. <laughs> that ain't what she there for. Um, are we going to do Lauren's question or just end the show? Nah. Well, that's three questions. We did three questions. That's three Lauren, questions. Question? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we will, we will save it for next time. Sorry, Lauren, if you're here, go follow Music by Napalm uh, if you um, need some music. And also go follow her YouTube channel. It's really, really, really good. Did but, she just do a question? Sure. No, 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 no. She, she had it from last week. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll save it for next time. Then. Yeah. So, um, yeah, follow us on our social media. It's linked in the description mm -hmm. box. And while you're down there, please, please, please make sure you rate this podcast, comment on this podcast, give us five stars on this podcast. It really, really, really help us out. Um, I see y'all doing it. Continue to do it. Helps our self-esteem. Yeah. Y'all want more episodes? Rate, rate us more. Yeah. And we'll feel like y'all actually care. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because this season is coming to an end, and we really got to think about the next season. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you want to see, if any topics you want us to discuss. Um, make sure you... Um, text Laurente and tell him to come on the episode one time <laughs> and yeah we will see you next time on Black Geek Energy BGE out All right, let's take a break to check in on our geeks. Um, how are y'all doing? How are y'all feeling? How's your heart? How's your mind? Now, y'all have asked us about mental health before and what our feelings are on mental health. And I say that your mental health is just as important as your physical health, your spiritual health, and your financial health, your fiscal health. And uh, therapy, a lot of times, is a bridge to those other things. Um, so our sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help us with that and help you with that. And I know a lot of y'all don't believe in therapy. Y'all ain't got time for it. You know, can't nobody tell you how you feel. But that's not what BetterHelp is here to do. What BetterHelp does is that they have licensed professionals that help you understand why you're feeling the way you do and are able to walk you through um, those feelings and help you get to a better place or just to reassure you of where you already are. I'm in therapy myself and I can tell you that it's working for me. So, you know, why not give it a try? You can go to betterhelp.com slash BGE pod. That's beta gamma epsilon pod for 10% off and get started with better help today.